could the Galactic Empire defeat Unicron? A strange question, but it is one I find very interesting. In this video, we will discuss a battle between the Galactic Empire and the Chaos Bringer, Unicron. For the purpose of this video, we will explore an alternative version of the Star Wars Galaxy where the Galactic Empire has crushed the Rebellion, so the Empire can focus the majority of its remaining forces on the threat of Unicron. Unicron is a moon-sized transformer who converts into a planet-consuming space station. He is the Chaos Bringer, creator of the Minicons, and the brother of Primus, the robot who converts into planet Cybertron, the Autobot and Decepticon homeworld. The Galactic Empire will bring a massive fleet in this scenario, consisting of Imperial Star Destroyers, Class II Forgets, various TIE Fighter variants, and many other units, including the Death Star itself. The scenario begins shortly after the battle on the frozen planet of Hoth. While the Empire has won the Galactic Civil War, they have suffered heavy losses. The Death Star has taken heavy damage but was not destroyed. As such, its super laser is undergoing repairs, and should be fully operational within a matter of weeks. Unicron enters the Star Wars galaxy, destroying and consuming entire planets starting with the outer rim of the Star Wars galaxy. It is not long before the Empire takes notice of the massive planet-eating machine, which I think is safe to assume the Empire would detect almost as soon as entire planets go missing. The Galactic Empire responds to this new threat by deploying all available fleets to engage the hostile machine, not yet knowing of what they are truly dealing with. The Imperial forces arrive at the last known coordinates of the threat, which the Imperial Navy obtained from a lone surviving TIE fighter pilot, who just barely escaped with his life and a mostly intact starfighter after the destruction of Tatooine. At the scene, there is a single moon However, no planet in sight. There is some debris floating in space, much like when the Death Star destroyed Alderaan during the Galactic Civil War. But something else is wrong as well. Sensors aboard the lead Star Destroyer detect something large hiding behind the moon. Tidy fighters are deployed to investigate the last of Tatooine's moons, but as they near closer, another moon appears. Moving up behind Tatooine's remaining moon, but that's no moon. It has a glowing ring, sharp beetle-like mandibles, and a large metal mouth full of extremely sharp teeth. Its mouth opens up and pulls in an entire squadron of Imperial Starfighters, destroying them in the process. Shocked by this action of what seems to be some form of enemy space station, the Imperial Navy is forced to engage in a battle with this new enemy, Unicron. Star Destroyers open fire on Unicron's surface, doing a small amount of damage to the robot's heavy armor plating, as the laser cannons bombard Unicron's outer shell. A hangar on the moon-sized robot opens to reveal and deploy Galvatron's fleet, still forced into Unicron's service, and led by, led by Galvatron's personal warship, the Revenge. Galvatron deploys his forces, the Decepticon sleeps led into battle by Cyclonus, to attack the Imperial Starfighters. As the battle continues, the Galactic Empire takes severe losses while taking out many of Galvatron's forces as well. At some point, the Decepticons begin to board Imperial Star Destroyers via the ship's hangars. The Imperials witness the Decepticons transform from highly maneuver spacecraft to heavily armed humanoid robots as Imperial capital ships are torn apart from the inside and outside. The Death Star finally arrives to provide support for the Imperial Navy. Its super laser now operational, it fires upon Unicron, causing a massive amount of damage to Unicron's outer shell, blasting right through it and destroying key components of the Chaos Bringer's planet form, removing Unicron's ability to consume planets. But not fully destroying him, wondering how the enemy could survive a direct blast from the Death Star super laser Emperor Palpatine sends out a direct transmission which is picked up by Galvatron's warship, the Revenge. 
While the Empire attempts to negotiate with the Shepticon leader Galvatron, they learn of the Autobot Matrix of Leadership, still worn on the necklace around Galvatron's neck, and that only the Matrix has the power to ultimately defeat Unicron. After an intense negotiation, Emperor Palpatine convinces Galvatron that together they can destroy Unicron, thus forming a temporary alliance with the Decepticons. Galvatron orders his forces to churn on Unicron, resulting in Unicron transforming from planet form to robot form. Unicron attempts to torture Galvatron through his usual means, and begins to slaughter Decepticon and Imperial forces alike. The Death Star Super Laser fires again, this time targeting Unicron's head. Unicron blocks the incoming blast with the death with one of his hands, losing his hand in the process. The Empire and the Decepticon Alliance now feel more confident that they can destroy Unicron as a result. Unicron, realizing the Death Star is much more of a significant threat than he originally thought, begins to move it towards the Empire's space station to attack it. As Unicron reaches the Death Star Super Laser, it fires again, taking out the arm that Unicron reached out with. Running out of options, Unicron attempts to retreat as Star Destroyer and Decepticon Battleship continue to fire upon the massive robot. One last firing of the Death Star Super Laser goes directly through the chest of Unicron, causing a chain reaction of explosions to break Unicron's head away from his body, flinging it far into deep space. The Galactic Empire is successful in fend fending off Unicron, with a little help from the Decepticons. Galvatron, however, knows Unicron is not done. The Chaos Springer Unicron can always return given the time. The battle has been won, but the war has just begun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me what you think in the comments. Subscribe for more content like this. I like making this type of thing. It's fun. Thank you very much, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.